Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. It's Jen. This story is awesome. Best story. I, I, I love this story because I can so relate to this. Uh, this is in this is in Australia. And I gotta I gotta give a shout out to my friend uh, Dana Wan for sending me the story. If you guys wanna just wanna note, if you guys wanna send awesome stories to us, uh, go to the uh, well right now go to the Facebook page. It's probably the best way when you send it through YouTube, it just gets bombarded. Mm -hmm. So send it through Facebook or Instagram or something. But this story is, is so crazy. This is in Australia, and this guy went to rob a Chinese restaurant. Okay, first of all, you don't do that. <laughs> well, no, 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 you should because. You should, because Chinese people, like, they, they, they keep a lot of cash around, right? Yeah, but you don't mess with Chinese people. Alright, well, okay. You don't mess with Chinese people unprepared, mm. I feel like. Well, this guy was, was prepared, but he was not expecting this to happen. No, I feel like he was, I mean, okay. When's the last time you heard of anybody going to rob a place with, like, a little knife? Yeah, so he had, he had this, okay, so let's say I walk in. Walks into this Chinese place and he has a knife in his belt. So he hands the cashier a note. First of all, what if they didn't read English? I mean, it was my my parents' restaurant. My mom doesn't read English. It's really basic English. Okay, it said, I have one knife. Give me money. Yeah, but okay, my, literally, my mom would be like, I do not know what this means. She doesn't know. Her English is like so. Ill. She, I don't even know if she knows what knife is like. You have what? What's his knife? And then, like, anyway. So, uh, but did he take out the knife to threaten her? No, they just, they just handed the note. Oh, and then <laughs> so, so the owner was like, Yeah, he played along. He's like, Yeah, let me go and uh, I he's mean, like, check out this how video. How much you want? Yeah, he's like, How much you want? The guy, what did he say? The guy's like, Oh, your money box. Yeah, yeah, you so want he's the like, guy's money box. Yeah, so he's, he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get it for you. So it goes back. And what are what utensil, what kitchen accessory is in every single Chinese restaurant? Cleavers. I mean, I don't care what kind of knife you have. Cleavers are menacing looking. Chinese cleavers? They're like, yo, I mean, there are video games where literally you are using yeah. a Chinese cleaver throughout the whole game. So he takes two cleavers, goes to the front of the restaurant, and chases that teen out the restaurant. He's like, you have one knife, I have two. Yo, that is a classic <laughs> oh Crocodile Dundee moment. Well, oh, yeah, so the reporter, she actually asked the guy, yeah. do you know Crocodile Dundee? He's like, he doesn't know, right? Yeah. So he has this like awkward fake laugh. It's yeah. the funniest thing ever. Wait, wait, do you know what crocodile no, dundee is? Okay, you're too young for yeah. this. Like you guys, you guys who are, you know, my age or, or up, you guys know crocodile. So in the movie Crocodile Dundee, some guy comes to he's like from Australia, right? So some guy, he's in New York City, and some guy comes to mug, uh, mug him. So he pulls out a knife, like a switchblade or something. So hey, give me your money or something. I can't remember the exact dialogue. And Dundee pulls out this massive knife. So I'm, I'm not gonna do this right because I can't do an Australian accent to save my life. And he's like, that's not a knife. This is a knife. And then the guy runs away. He's like, ah. But this is exactly kind of what happens. So. I mean, you don't go to a Chinese restaurant and rob with a knife. He was like, oh, I'm not scared at all. This is Australia. Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, 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 it is good. I mean, when was the last time, like, I've, I lived in New York City for so many years. When was the last time somebody, I mean, if you, whenever you hear about uh, bank robberies or any other kind of robberies in New York or, or even anywhere in the U.S. It's like it's a gun or you know some guys will go to uh, go to the bank and hand tell her a note and be like oh, I have a bomb with me. I, I can't I can't I can't imagine like like a story where someone walks in like hey I have a knife. He takes out this baby knife. <laughs> it's like he didn't even pull it out. He's like I have a knife. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, don't mess with the Chinese cleaver. That stuff is like that stuff is dangerous. I mean. Yo, I, I look at my Chinese cleaver now. Mm. I have my Chinese cleaver with my other knives, and when I look at it now, it just it just always looks so menacing. Chinese cleaver, that stuff. I mean, that's like the most menacing kitchen knife in existence. I mean, I, mean, I know there's some knives that can cut through a shoe or something. I get that; it's really sharp, but I mean, it just doesn't have the like aggressive appeal of the cleaver. And then imagine a guy chasing you with two yeah. of those. Because knives. you can do a lot with it, right? Yeah. You can chop with it. Mm. You can also smack people like. Or slice. Yeah, the Chinese kitchens are weaponized, guys, so don't go robbing Chinese restaurants. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.